Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforay.com. Today's topic of discussion is 10 steps of glycolysis enzymes involved and the regulatory steps of glycolysis in detail within 5 to 10 minutes. Let's begin with the term glycolysis. Glyco means glucose whereas lysis means breakdown. So it is the splitting of glucose, a carbon-6 compound to form 2 pyruvate molecule which is 3 carbon with the formation of ATP and NADH. Glycolysis occurs in the cytosol of cell cytoplasm in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes. It is an universal process and also an anaerobic process where oxygen is not required. Let's move into the detail. There are two phases in glycolysis. The first phase is called as the preparatory phase or investment phase where glucose is phosphorylated and is converted to glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, one of the most common intermediate in many metabolic reactions inside the cell. In this phase, 2 ATP is used. Let's move into the reaction. I think it is easy to remember the reactions of glycolysis by understanding the exact reactions rather than using some mnemonics. Let's begin. In step 1, glucose is converted to glucose 6-phosphate using ATP. So this is glucose and that is converted to glucose 6-phosphate. At the 6th position, a phosphate group is added and the enzyme involved is hexokinase and this is an irreversible reaction. Once the glucose is inside the cell, hexokinase phosphorylates glucose so that it cannot be moved out of the cell as glucose transporters will not take phosphorylated glucose outside of the cell. This is a regulatory step that is controlled by the enzyme hexokinase which is activated by AMP and ADP indicating that low level of energy whereas it is inhibited by glucose 6-phosphate, the product itself a kind of feedback inhibition. Step 2 is glucose 6-phosphate is converted to fructose 6-phosphate. Glucose and fructose are isomers and the enzyme is phosphoglucose isomerase. Phosphoglucose is the substrate name and the enzyme is isomerase. In the next step, that is in step 3, fructose 6-phosphate is converted to 1,6 fructose 1,6 biphosphate. This is an important regulatory step that is catalyzed by PFK or phosphofractokinase. This is a rate limiting step in glycolysis that determines the pace of the reaction. PFK is activated by AMP and ADP and also by fructose 2,6 biphosphate. It is inhibited by high amount of ATP and also citrate. Citrate is formed in Krebs cycle. Now as you can see at, this, at the first position a phosphate group is added. Now we have fructose 1,6 biphosphate. In step 4 fructose 1,6 biphosphate splits to form 2,3 carbon compound glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and dihydroxyacetone phosphate. Glyceraldehyde is having an aldehyde group whereas dihydroxyacetone phosphate is having a ketose group. They are isomers with a chemical formula C3H6O3 and the enzyme is aldolase. Now we have 2,3 carbon compound which is glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and dihydroxyacetone phosphate at the end of preparatory phase with the usage of 2 ATP molecule for phosphorylation. Therefore, this phase is also called as investment phase or preparatory phase or priming phase. Moving into the second part. Second phase is called as the payoff phase where glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is converted to 2 pyruvic acid molecule with the production of 4 ATP and 2 NADH. Step 5. Dihydroxyacetone phosphate is converted to glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and the enzyme is isomerase. 
It's a triose, therefore phosphotriose isomerase is an enzyme. It's a three carbon compound. It's an isomer, therefore the enzyme is isomerase. Dihydroxyacetone phosphate also becomes glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. From now onwards, two glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate molecules are there in the reaction. Therefore, all the reactions will take place two times. Step 6 is glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is converted to 1,3 biphosphoglycerate. It's a kind of oxidation coupled with phosphorylation. NAD becomes NADH and H plus and inorganic phosphate is added to glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate to form 1,3 biphosphoglycerate. Here you can see the second phosphate is added and the enzyme is glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase. Whenever there is a formation of NADH, the enzyme is dehydrogenase. Step 7. 1,3 biphosphoglycerate is converted to 3 phosphoglycerate. A phosphate is removed, therefore ATP is formed. An ADP becomes ATP and the phosphate is received from this high energy 1,3 biphosphoglycerate. This is called as substrate level phosphorylation as the phosphate is donated by the substrate. It becomes 3-phosphoglycerate and the enzyme involved is kinase. Whenever there is an ATP formation or ATP removal from a reaction, the enzyme is kinase. So this is the first ATP formed in the reaction and as you can see as glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate runs twice, we have 2 ATP. Step number 8. 3-phosphoglycerate is converted to 2-phosphoglycerate, just a shift in bond position. Here it is in the third position, that becomes second position and the enzyme is mutase. Enzyme is mutase. Phosphoglycerate mutase is the enzyme. In step 9, 2-phosphoglycerate is converted to phosphoenol pyruvate with the release of water. And the enzyme is enolase. Enzyme is enolase as phosphoenol pyruvate is formed. In step 10, phosphoenol pyruvate is converted to pyruvate, removing the phosphate, and that is utilized for the formation of ATP. ADP becomes ATP. This is a second substrate level phosphorylation forming two ATP molecules. Now we have two pyruvate molecule. First, Enol pyruvate is formed that is quickly converted to keto pyruvate as it is more stable. And the enzyme is pyruvate kinase. This is also a regulatory enzyme involved in glycolysis which is activated by AMP and ADP and also fructose 1,6 biphosphate which is the rate limiting step but inhibited by ATP, acetyl coenzyme A and also alanine. Now we have two pyruvate molecule at the end of the reaction. The three regulatory enzymes involved in the reaction are hexokinase, phosphofructokinase and pyruvate kinase. Now let us see the net result of glycolysis. Here the glucose in the preparatory phase 2 ATP is utilized. Then in the payoff phase 2 NADH is formed along with 4 ATP. As glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate runs twice to form 2-pyruvate molecule. So the net gain of the reaction is 2-pyruvate with the production of 2-NADH and 2-ATP molecule. Out of 4, 2-ATP is used. Therefore, the net gain is 2-ATP molecule. Hope you understand the concept. Thank you so much for your support. Please subscribe, share and like.